Hey, what's up, everyone? This is James Hurst again. And um, I just wanted to give a few thoughts, a few things to consider before maybe possibly doing e-commerce on Go High Level. Uh, I just want to share my experience. Uh, this was you know, a few months back, and so things are always changing. Uh, so do your own due diligence as far as um, whether things have changed since, since my experience or not. But basically, you know, e-commerce, um, typically like this is like a Shopify store, right? And you have, uh, you have, you can have different collections, right? You can, um, there's lots of, lots more variety, a lot more different colors, sizes, right? Think of t-shirts, small, medium, large, extra large, uh, colors. Um, and then the other big one is quantities, right? So, uh, sure would be nice to sell more than one or two at a time. And so when you um, pick one and then you hit add to cart, uh, you can like, you know, have three of that and five of that and, and then go check out. So this is, this is not high level. This would be like Shopify. Okay. So, well, you know, when you're trying to do e-commerce, something physical product, uh, to get around the quantity thing, you could do something like this. This is what I end up doing. Uh, I said, well, I'm going to make a product and it's, the product is one of that. And I'm going to make another product and it's, and it's two of that, right? You can see it's a little bit, it's just not great, right? Um, it's just not great for tracking for, you know, for inventory purposes. Uh, but can you do it that way? Yeah. I mean, you could, I mean, if it was just a small operation, okay, well, this guy bought one of the three camera one kit, right? Um, and then you can do order bumps. You can do order bumps as well, which is nice, right? Uh, <clears throat> and then you can also do like an upsell. And, you know, a classic thing, if you don't have any idea what to sell, the net upsell will sell more of the thing you just sold, uh, for, you know, for less, right? Uh, and that starts to get into different troubles as well because now I'm selling that same thing for a different price, Um and here's the other thing to consider, which is that all of this order information, well, it needs to typically go somewhere, some sort of fulfillment. And depending on how sophisticated you're going to be, I mean, you can send this to a, you could send this to a, a spreadsheet, you know, a Google Sheets, maybe using Zapier or something like that. Um, I mean, I've done, I've done e-commerce and stuff. You know, I would, I use ShipStation, right? And so I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to sell this e-commerce thing, and I'm going to um, I got to get this into ShipStation somehow. That led me to looking at Zapier, right? So I'm catching this webhook on a purchase event, right? And I was, I just had a hard time uh, getting that in there. And then also like, you know, when you have multiple, when you have multiple, um, when you have an upsell, you have order forms and order bumps, you want them to all be combined on the same ShipStation, uh, you know, they're all going to this person, they're all going to that person. And and have all these, you know, multiple SKUs, right? Multiple SKUs coming in on one thing. So uh, I ended up having to really go deep and inspect everything that was in, you know, in this webhook. And then we ended up writing some code. Um, and you know, I'm happy to I'm happy to let you have this code and stuff. But just it was it was not easy. Okay. Uh, and even at the end of the day, we scrapped it. We, we didn't, we didn't finish out the project. Uh, we were close. I mean, it, it was, but it just, just wasn't going to be easy. Uh, and, and then there's, yeah, cause these line, these things, the amounts, they come in on line items. There's like an array of products and, you know, and what, if you got, what, what was I going to do if I had the product of two of the thing? You can just start to see what, what this is what I'm trying to, you know, put this out there is that before you go and promise this amazing e-commerce, uh, you know, funnel and, and product that make sure you take it all the way to the end through to fulfillment, through to the integration, through to ship station, sorry, ship station. Right. And, uh, you know, make sure that this thing is going to work for you all the way. Uh, it doesn't do quantities very well. It doesn't integrate very well. That this is my opinion, um, and I only did one. ShipStation's only one provider. Could you, could you take payments and sell stuff e-commerce like on high level? 
Uh, yes, right? Um, are you going to be <clears throat> running into a few uh, running into a few things that you have to overcome? Yeah, I think so as well. Maybe there's some more custom coding that could be done uh, to get this to work really slick, but just out of the box, um, you know, and just, let's be let's be uh, <clears throat> mindful that there is a, a Shopify integration. Um, so maybe you can Shopify integrate into high level and then kick off, you know, abandoned cart, abandoned cart um, type emails and things. So if I go to <clears throat> workflows here, I actually haven't done I actually haven't done a Shopify integration, so um, I'm just kind of aware of possibly what I know. Let's see. So I don't even see anything with Shopify there. What about here? Shopify. So um, I thought there was stuff dealing with Shopify and workflows, but I could be wrong. That is strange. Abandon, abandon cart, abandon checkout. Okay, so there's Shopify. Okay, so there was something there. So Shopify, abandon cart, abandon checkout. So you could potentially work with these two things together. Um, see what else? Uh, membership opportunity, Shopify, order placed, order fulfilled, abandon checkout. So there's a few things there. And then if I do actions you can do any kind of normal action so i hope that perspective is helpful for you um, let me know in the comments if if that was helpful i would appreciate it and if not i will see you in the next video thanks so much